January 2017, a group of visitors came to the Korea National Arboretum. The visit was part of a project to share economic development experience implemented by the Ministry of Strategy and Finance and Korea Development Institute in 2004. We started our forestation policy and planted this tree. Mm. Yeah, so this tree is our holy place of uh, forest. You, you, so, as you can see. They are government officials responsible for forestry in Laos. They are keenly interested in Korea's reforestation experience over the past century. We learn more how to uh, get the idea or how your successful story or activity so we can bring to, to Laos to, to apply in our uh, country. Uh, and this opportunity, I am very proud to come to visit Korea. Thanks to its abundant natural resources, foreign investments pour into Laos. However, such development practices are leading to massive deforestation. 50 years ago, the book, in the book, very empty. Right now, the so forest covered by forest. Korean forests have become the envy of the world. As of late 2014, 63% of the total territory is made up of forests. Korea is the fourth most thickly forested country among OECD member states, following Finland, Sweden, and Japan. I think the uh, story of reforestation in Korea is really fascinating and it's one of the most interesting aspects of Korea's economic rebuilding. A globally acclaimed case, Korea's reforestation. What secret does it hold? Deforestation, caused by exploitation of natural resources during the Japanese occupation, was further exacerbated by the Korean War. The increase in demand for wood for post-war restoration projects and in the number of refugees led to heavy logging for heating and cooking, which in turn made the mountains even barer. Even in the early 70s, with a booming economy, the mountains remained barren. Then a clear-cut message was publicly announced in 1973. The government mobilized people and resources from all across the country for reforestation, as if carrying out an operation. Such all-out effort could be more easily made since the country was under a highly centralized government system. In the 1960s, did not work terribly well. Uh, but then in the 70s, in the second phase, and even in the 1980s, uh, real change became possible. I think that there was very strong support for reforestation from the government and leadership by the government, and it was important when problems were encountered. After Korea launched its reforestation project in earnest, various laws and regulations were implemented virtually every year to promote forest rehabilitation. The 10-year plan reached its goal four years ahead of schedule. During the period, almost three billion trees were planted over 1.08 million hectares. This problem is not just a problem of human rights, but also a problem of country, and also a energy problem, and also a problem of energy problem. This is a problem of energy problem. This is a problem of energy problem. This is a problem of energy problem. 1970년대 산림 녹화를 성공하는 데 굉장히 중요한 역할이었다고 생각합니다. Laos is located in the center of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. 
As in the 60s and the 70s in Korea, most of the people are engaged in agriculture. However, roughly 75% of land is mountainous. Arable farmland accounts for merely 9.2%. It is only natural that only a few farmers have their own land in the flatland. Most farmers live as Sweden farmers. We met one of them. His name is Tomo Sampet. For those who make a living by Sweden farming, it is not an option but the only means of survival. The difficult for try to help 10% of poor people. The main problem is education. There are uneducation and also ethnic, small and minor ethnic people. In Laos, where forests restore themselves well, thanks to its warm and humid climate, sweat and farming is not a big deal. However, that was not the case for Korea. There were Sweden farmers who used to clear the land by setting it on fire until the 1970s. Every tree counted back then. Why did they have to damage the mountains for farming? Uljin in Gyeongsangbukdo province still has dwellings that show what the past Sweden farming village looked like. It's a collective settlement, the government set up for those Sweden farmers who had their livelihood destroyed overnight. Che Soon Hyo, the owner of the house, was 10 years old when he moved into this house with his mother. A whopping 300,000 plus households moved out of their old homes never to return. The policy required more meticulous and elaborate planning than any other. 화전 정리 지침을 완벽하게 만들었어요. 이것이 화전이냐 아니냐는 것을 판단하는 기준이 경사도 가지고 했습니다. 현장 가서 경사도가 20도가 나오면 이것은 무조건 화전이 안 되는 거로 해서 모두 철수시키고 나물 심었고 경사도 20도 미만은 화전을 공식적으로 인정하는 겁니다. 한 가구당 40만 원의 이주비를 줬어요. 그 당시 40만 원이면 지금 4천만 원에 해당하는 엄청난 돈입니다. 그래서 이거 서로 받아가려고 그랬기 때문에 객관적으로 하기 위해서 화전 정리 심의 위원회를 5단계로 만들었어요. 그 다음에 100% 시장과 군수가 책임지고 직업을 할선했어요. To efficiently implement the policy, they gave a careful consideration to job placement for relocating Sweden farmers and education for their children. Relocating one household allegedly required as many as 56 different papers to be filled out. This song, a huge hit in the 70s, reflects the desire to have a picturesque home on a green meadow, a pipe dream back then. Reforestation was the supreme task of the time in the 1970s. So many projects to accomplish with clenched fists and raised voices at the time. 
Wherever people looked, there was a national campaign going on that emphasized the significance of forest rehabilitation. Korea's reforestation policies were government-led, but at the core was the self-motivation. Tree inspection is a classic example. What does this mean, which is not even listed in the Korean dictionary? We asked what it means to two former forestry officials who used to serve as tree inspectors at the time. The principal in tree inspections was to do cross checks. Namely, government officials assigned as tree inspectors went to areas outside of their jurisdiction to check how well the trees were growing. Cross inspection was cumbersome. Let's hear from another former public official as to the rationale behind it. Tree inspectors had to receive training before they could be dispatched to sites. How did the public officials respond at the time? Thanks to the tree inspection system that made public officials move around, more trees managed to survive. The survival rate went up with time, a feat achieved through self-motivated hard work. Another aspect of voluntary participation was sapling cultivation at the village level. A newspaper article dated March 21, 1973, introduces a sapling cultivation project undertaken in villages to cope with saplings low in stock. Worth noting is that the government rolled up its sleeves to encourage villagers to plant trees. In fact, sampling cultivation at the village level began as a means to improve the rural environment and eventually spread nationwide as part of the Seimaul Undong movement. That's why the competition-driven principle of the Seimaul Undong, that only those places that excel will selectively receive support, also applied to the sapling cultivation project. The newspapers from back then record that the villages with the highest performance would receive one million won from the government. Compared with the Chuseok Wright expenses, that year and the initial wages for bank employees, the most coveted profession then 
1 million won per village was a significant amount. 농민에게는 나무가 많이 살면 특별 예산이 내려온다. 이렇게 되니까 그 당근을 작용해서 결국은 치산 녹화 사업이 농민들로 하여금 더 일을 많이 하게 하는 그게 모든 것이 저는 당근이라고 생각합니다. In the 1960s, a large number of trees were planted in the mountains and the fields, but it didn't lead to a substantial increase in the size of forests. Why was that? Forests take a long time to grow, but basically more trees were felled than planted. However, the entire nation came together to achieve economic growth and an unexpected blessing came out of it. Replacing firewood with coal gained momentum as financial circumstances improved. Furthermore, as reforestation was a national agenda, the government even set a Kino policy to bring in wood from overseas. That meant people didn't have to cut down trees to survive any longer. Tailing 경제의 불씨를 살리는 그런 역할을 하는 것으로 이렇게 분석이 됐고요. And in 1978, Korea came to the fore in the world at the 8th World Forestry Congress. Korea accomplished reforestation in a short period of time, and many countries were interested in the secret behind it. Renowned foreign media outlets even reported the work of village forestry groups. The focus was on how Korea could achieve both economic growth and reforestation. Korea's experience of turning once barren land green again with international aid is now going global. In the Kabuchi Desert in Inner Mongolia, known to be the source of yellow dust, the members of Future Forests from Korea are creating green swaths to fight desertification. The Korean experience is striking a chord with the locals in developing countries, furthering international cooperation. Very often, when I travel and speak to people in other developing countries, they want to know how Korea did it, how Korea did manage to catch those two rabbits. So I, I think the Korean experience is really important and, uh, and inspirational for many countries, but, but we will have to help them learn lessons from it and apply it uh, in, the, in their own um, uh, approach to uh, the climate change, uh, environmental and development challenges they face. Lombok, an island in Indonesia. Let's see how prepared we are to move into the era of low carbon growth. In this region, a total of 62,000 hectares of forest allegedly disappeared between 1995 and 2010 by 1.1% annually. 
When one tree is cut down, it emits carbon dioxide from within. Red Project aims to prevent deforestation and secure as much carbon credit for each country. The feasibility study for Red Project is underway in Lombok with Korean research staff on board. Lombok's forestry officials, a partner in Red Project, had a clear idea of what they needed. Potensi karbon di berbagai kondisi hutan yang ada di Rinjani Barat itu salah satu bagian terpenting yang diperoleh oleh KPH Rinjani Barat dengan adanya riset dari Korea Forest Institute bersama para universitas di dalamnya sehingga kalau ada para in, para uh, pengusaha atau para negara-negara yang punya komitmen untuk memberikan kontribusi Red Plus, kami sudah punya datanya di dalam setiap titik dan setiap kondisi dari kawasan hutan. They read satellite images and tracked land uses and changes in forest with the GPS technology. The database provided by the Korean research team conveys the value of Lombok's forests. The next step was a socio-economic survey to prevent locals from damaging the forests. The residents, making a living in the forest for generations, had virtually zero confidence in the government. Another task for the research staff was to work as a mediator and to make a fair assessment of the contract between the government and the residents. Soburinjani, Boring Kalisoa, Lemping Maure in Sarami, Soro Keagul Mejaso. Kusupeson since the new forest partnership, deforestation has not progressed any further. Above all, Lombok locals are highly satisfied with the result. Sebelum ada program pemerintah, kita diberikan bantuan oleh pemerintah. Jadi kita masih miskin, ya masih miskin, belum bisa beli TV, belum bisa menyekolahkan anak sampai kuliah. Tapi sekarang semuanya bisa kita lakukan. Jadi kita senang sekali, senang sekali. This area was selected as the best self-sufficient forest management station out of 529 Indonesian stations in 2015. Korea Korea is trying to share its reforestation experience with the world in other ways as well. When over 190 countries around the world entered into the climate change pact, Korea was there as well, with a commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 37%, to cool the earth by 2 degrees Celsius by 2030. We ushered in the era of low carbon growth. No one predicted the economic growth Korea accomplished out of the ashes of war. The first-hand experience of miraculously restoring forests along the way is a precious asset unique to the nation.
It's an asset that makes us look forward to the challenges and solutions we will find on the path ahead as we face a difficult task of low-carbon growth.